This man's reptile diet claims to drop insane amounts of weight, but is it just snake oil? What you're telling people, go to the results. Your diet is going to kill people. All right, let's get going. Can eating like a snake help you tip the scales? Well, our next guest claims his extreme reptilian-inspired diet is a surefire way to lose that extra weight. Take a look at this. Hey, fatty! Hey, fatty! Hey, fatty! Hey, fatty! Hey, fatty! Hey, fatty! Hey, fatty. Before doing anything I say, go consult your local drug dealing doctor and make sure it's okay. Let's begin! The snake diet is a prolonged fasting focused lifestyle. You fast as long as you can. Not hours, but days, weeks, and months. If you're fat, you don't need to eat, drink water, and salt. You don't need anything more than that. It's that simple. You don't gotta have to eat. But here's how it's done. Prolong snake juice fast until you have ripped abs. Took me 10 days. And lastly, weigh yourself every day. It keeps you accountable. Fast longer and eat less. Don't be a crybaby and get that fat in you. Cole Robinson, the creator of the snake diet, joins us on Skype from Alberta, Canada. Hmm. Cole, so what's the concept behind the snake diet? So essentially, it's a prolonged fasting-focused lifestyle, and you fast as long as you can when you're fat because fat people don't need to eat any food because they got more calories than they could ever use in, like, weeks on their gut, okay? People got to understand that body fat is food. And then what they do is they drink the salt water as they fast because it keeps your electrolytes up, and then you feel good and you can fast for days, weeks, months. So people have been fasting for hundreds of thousands of years, right? But most times, people are fasting on plain water. Right. As soon as you add that salt, you can go a long time. Like, I got a guy I'm coaching right now that was, like, 350 pounds, and he's down probably almost 50 pounds in the month. Oh, and he does jujitsu and everything, and he's eating, like, one meal every seven days. Because you got so many minerals on your body fat. People just don't understand that their fat is fuel. And the only way to harness that is by keeping your insulin levels so low that you're just gonna burn pure body fat. You can't be eating all damn day like the mainstream tells you to. And you also say that you can cure certain diseases or conditions. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so one of the girls actually, she's uh, one of the people that was helping me coach on my big Facebook group. And she had a prolactinoma brain tumor. And basically, I got her dry fasting. I had her on a dry fasting routine where we we're doing probably at least a three to four day dry fast a week. And then on the off days, she would eat, basically, we'd refeed her because she was pretty lean. So in that routine, we couldn't just fast straight through because we had to keep some weight on her. So we'd fast for three days in a row dry. And then we'd eat a meal a day for four days in a row. And we beat that, we melted that tumor down in two months. And I'm hurting you. No, and, no, and no I, Cole, you and, did not no, melt that I, tumor I, down. And That's also, not what happened. That, that would defy science. That would defy I, thousands well, well, of years of, of medicine yeah. and, and me medical you, thinking. You also said you can cure herpes, the herpes virus, correct? Yeah, so what happened, basically, as far as herpes goes, I had herpes. So what happened is I started actually, I told people that I beat the herpes because I basically did a five day dry fast, never had one symptom, okay, after this. And then I had a whole bunch of people getting a hold of me, a bunch of women, they wouldn't come out about it. Like basically the whole population's got HSV one or two, to be honest with you. No, well, like I say, you're, you're confident, you're well-spoken, you're charismatic. If I didn't have an exercise science degree, a medical degree and 20 years of intensive self-study, I would personally believe you. But what you're telling people so is and it's not safe. Oh, yeah. Wait, let's, yeah. No, 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 no. Wait, let's, let, let's, let's just back up for a second. Let's just back Wait, 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 Cole, give me a second. Let's just back up for a second because I'm, I'm a board certified physician nutrition specialist. I'm going to start by saying that some of what you say is actually, there is a very bit of truth to everything that you say. So I, the, the data on fasting, there is actually emerging data on intermittent fasting and its potential benefits. There is emerging data on the ketogenic diet, which is somewhat similar to what you do. Now, I'm not saying that I agree with any of these, but at the end of the day, I took something called the Hippocratic Oath as a doctor, which is first do no harm. And I can tell you with 100% 
percent certainty that your diet is going to kill people. Anybody with borderline kidney disease, liver disease, medications. I mean, well, you, this actually kidney does kidney make kidney sense. Kidney this water. You, pardon me. They got they got kidney disease in the first place because the mainstream's telling them what well, the mainstream's telling them doesn't work. Okay, cutting calories. Cutting calories, eating multiple meals a day, just spikes your insulin all day long and creates, that's the biggest promoter of inflammation, having spiked insulin. I 100% I agree with you. Insulin is a major problem, and I think this is something that people need to understand more. And this is, again, something that you partially understand is the role of hormones and weight loss. So I'm, but there are other ways. This is not the right way. I control, I spend so all of my days in the office controlling inflammation and insulin resistance in patients, and, do and do I don't have to starve them. And I, I don't have to kill them or cause any sort of massive like side the, effect. The, the fast, you know what happens in like a hospice? When people are like on their deathbed they at the very cancer. end of their life, they li listen though, they actually can't put anything in their body. What do you think the IV is at the hospital? It's snake juice. Cole, they're getting snake juice with TPN, which is nutrients going into their body. Right, that's exactly we, we've right. all worked in the, the hospital is, setting and watched the, the nutrients is, also going, the calories the is, when you have going people, into their body. When you have people, when you have people that are obese and you got them weighing like 200 pounds overweight, you know how much nutrition's on their fat? Every animal in, in nature does this. Like a grizzly bear will eat all summer, store the fat, and then they'll literally lay on their we're ass all winter and we're not, not eat a thing. I guess a bear will do a snake. We're not snakes. We're not that's, that's true, but we're not bears or snakes, so we have to differentiate, okay? So let me ask you, what, what is being said up here is based on decades and decades of scientific evidence. Do you, let me ask you, I, I just want to know, do you have any randomized any prospective randomized controlled trials to substantiate any claims that you are making because the claims we are making is based on science. Have you done well, any okay, studies? My snake diet Facebook group has 200,000 people. I'd say that's a good enough study when people are losing 30, 40, 50 pounds in a month. All right, Cole, Cole, that's not science. Up. That's straight to the weight loss because I have personal Here's experience with calorie restriction through U.S. Army Ranger School where to serve my country, I had to cut out food for a while. Not all food, but severe calorie restriction. What happened was I absolutely got skinnier, lost 20 pounds of muscle. The only time in my adult life I was chubby was as soon as that ended because I screwed up my metabolism. And you know why? And then you gain you know weight why? very easy. You know why? That will happen because to everybody. You everybody, you, you cut the weight fasting. out. And then you're going to gain because more you because your metabolism slows oh, way down. Short-term fix, two weeks, you need to get ready for a no, wedding. Unsafe, but effective. Out. Outside that, you're, unhealthy you're, and not effective long-term. Period. Listen for a sec. Your metabolism gets cranked up because you weren't fasting. When you cut calories with a high eating, a high intake frequency, that will not, that will be catabolic as hell. Why do you think intermittent fasting is so popular? Because well, that, Cole, I mean, you can't. You can't deny that as part of this, this uh, starvation diet that I'm going to call it, you are going to lose Bad protein. Fat people can't starve. Fat people cannot starve. That is period. absolutely not They're, true. I see obese, malnourished starve. people yeah. every single day. They cannot day. starve if they are fasting. If I mean, they are fasting, they cannot starve. They can only starve and lose muscle mass if you are feeding them. Well, they can die. Deficit. They can that die so of untrue. some of the things I mean, that you. Cole, we appreciate your conviction and right. your passion. And, and yeah, you, yeah. you have a real passion for attacking this real problem of obesity. Yeah. And you know, are we winning the war? Probably not. But our job here today is, and, and you know, you're getting, showing your results. Hey, I can go, I can Google Wor World Health Organization. I can see people in famine areas starving. And yes, they're going to be skinny. I mean, th there's no denying that. They're not fat. Fat people can't starve. And then you say that this is dangerous when people are chopping their guts out with bariatric surgery. How do you deal with a 1,000 pound man? For a 25-year-old person, what is the end game? Like, what is your plan? So hypothetically speaking, this person is going to live until, let's say, they're 85. So what are they going to do between now and 85 to maintain that weight loss? Okay, so basically what happens, so if you're fat, you have a fasting routine for everybody, okay? So we're talking about weight loss here. Okay. So the fat people don't need to eat. They need to fast as long as they can. They need to be in fasting forced ketosis. This is not a ketogenic diet. So for we're 60 years? We're for, what's that? For 60 years? So Some great for, from, from 25 finish, to 85. So I'm talking about the long-term plan. That's a great let question. Because plan. sustainability so is really important. Yeah, so I'm, I, just, I do. I want to hear your plan. Let me finish. Okay. So say you got a guy, let's just go through the whole thing. So you got a guy, 500 pounds. So he comes to me, say we're fasting hardcore, we're doing 
72 is 96 hour fast and so on so okay. forth That's he gets down days. to 200 pounds okay he gets down to 200 pounds maybe he does a one month fast then once you're lean then you can go back to a lower or a higher eating frequency like a meal a day which is what i eat i compete in so, powerlifting. so for like the I'm next in, 59 I, like, years they're going to eat one meal a day Exactly. Why not? What do you Why eat not? in that meal? I'm just curious. What are, are you eating? Like uh, small game because it's the snake diet, or what exactly are you eating during that one meal? <laughs> well, you don't need to be smart. He enough, eats it whole. Yeah, with the tea, you know, <laughs> fur, hooves, whatever. And, and I gotta say, I mean, I've seen your pics. I eat six times a day, and I'd put my abs against yours. You know, I mean, it's. Woo! There's no I like to do that. I mean, Cole. Cole, very important for us to ask because our concern up here as physicians is getting people into medical issues, medical trouble, fasting right. like this, unsupervised dieting, fasting. So in one of your social media groups, we found a woman who posted that she was following what you recommended and developed seizures uh, on your diet. Now, I mean, this potentially could be a life-threatening issue. Yeah. How, isn't that a concern to you? Well, that for starters, that post, it was fake. Because you notice how she didn't even, you know how many haters I have? Like that post on yeah, Facebook. Yeah, I can understand that. Oh, we're, we're trying not to hate your pet. I got to do it. That's the thing. I want to go back to the question the other fellow had that was in the military there, the other doctor. Yeah, I got so you. So what you're doing, yeah, what you're doing right now, let's say like, let's just dumb it down to even mainstream intermittent fasting. Sure. If you took what you ate right now and you packed it into a tight window, I guarantee you'd actually be able to eat more calories than you are now. Your metabolism will go up. I guarantee it. I disagree. That's I eat exactly. a lot. I, I, I'm I active. I out. eat a lot. And I would take, you know, your years of medical research, randomized control tiles against your Facebook group where if someone disagrees, then they're a hater and they're not included in the trial. But you understand, you understand though, when you guys say about the sustainability, yeah. humans were doing this for 200,000 years. But they were we so started hungry, Cole. <laughs> 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 I do appreciate your passion for this obesity epidemic, yes. and I feel like we are we all want to get to the same point, which is a healthier like, individual, but we have very different ideas as far as how we can get there. Like, even you guys argue with me, like, about this stuff. You guys are doctors. Like, you guys are all drinking coffee. I don't drink coffee. We're not coffee. drinking coffee. This is water. I don't water. Drink coffee. coffee reduces and cancer yeah. and Alzheimer's. Yes, absolutely. Coffee is the top source of antioxidants in the American diet. Yeah, right. Right. Well, legitimately, well, real deal. One of the top I do drink coffee. Well, well, you don't drink coffee either, boy. You're di there's no way I could go on the snake diet. It's like cold. Right? We, <laughs> cold. <laughs> we appreciate your passion. Yeah. We have to wrap this up. We do want to address the obesity yeah. crisis, but we want to do it in a safe. Yes. Medical way. way. We don't want it collateral safe. damage yeah. right. along the way. People right. get into other medical problems. So, but for people listening, people that want to follow your diet, make sure that they do it safely with supervision. Right. Cole, God bless you, buddy. Bye, Cole. Good luck. We'll Bye. be right back.